This February, the Washougal School Board asks you to consider a general obligation capital bond for the Washougal School District. Washougal needs to strengthen the safety measures in all of its schools, address overcrowding, prepare for growth in enrollment, and replace outdated facilities. The school board did not come to these conclusions alone. For almost a year, a group of local experts in construction, architecture, engineering, and facility management have been meeting to study Washougal School District's long-term capital needs. I wish that there was some way that every, you know, voter, every parent could walk through the facilities and, and get the kind of tour that we did because uh, it would be eye-opening. It really would. Safety concerns are at the top of the list. All Washougal schools are not equipped with secure entries and have exposed doorways. We see in the news all the time um, really terrifying things and it's our obligation to do something about this. It's way too easy for someone to get into our schools and that's just not okay. If approved, the bond would fund the remodel of main entrances of every school to control access. Since the year 2000, Washougal's population has increased by 45%. We see critical overcrowding in our schools. We are looking into the future, and right now in the future, we see that this community is growing. There's um, development happening. Today, student enrollment is 3,127 students. Since 2010, student enrollment has increased by around 50 students each year. Gauze Elementary and Gentigar Middle School are over capacity. In 10 years, total school enrollment is expected to reach nearly 3,600 students in a district designed to accommodate only 2,959 students. Right now, 500 students sit in portables. Many are aging and have exceeded their lifespan. Right now, I actually have a fifth grade granddaughter at Gauze who's sitting in the portable with her coat and hat on because it's so cold. It's a, it's a tough learning environment. So we need to get rid of the portables we have now, upgrade the facilities we have now, and give, us, give ourselves some capacity for future growth. At Jantagar Middle School, the open pod style construction and use of portables make the campus hard to secure and exposes students to the elements between classes. The Facilities Committee recommends building a new elementary and a new middle school on the Gemtigard campus. To save on construction and operating costs, the two schools will share a library, cafeteria, gymnasium, and a parking lot. The new schools will be built for 400 elementary students and 600 middle school students to alleviate overcrowding and provide for capacity for future enrollment growth. Excelsior High School is a positive and successful alternative to traditional high school education, providing individual learning plans to accommodate student needs. Students, however, do not have a permanent building, but instead take all classes in portables. Through his volunteer work with the school, Pastor Blum appreciates how hard Excelsior students work and sees the benefit to providing a permanent building for the school. I was completely impressed with what Excelsior was doing they need to be out of those portables and into a better facility. They deserve a better facility. The work they're doing there is tremendous. If approved, the capital bond would fund the construction of a building replacing the worn out and inadequate portables. The cost of the bond would be $57.7 million. If approved, taxpayers would pay 48 cents more per $1,000 of assessed value. For homes valued at $300,000, patrons would pay approximately $12 a month more in taxes. But I took a look at this. This is going to cost me a fair amount of money. But you know what? It's the investment we need to make. Um, interest rates are low and um, building costs are low right now. The need to attend to the safety and security of our students and staff is uh, one of our highest priorities. The district has done a fantastic job keeping up on these facilities. But there is a point where us residents have to say, you've done all you can do and now it's really up to us to kind of help you. Those are things that need to be addressed and, and not tomorrow, you know, not next week, but now. 
And after all, these children are the investment in our future. My future, your future, and their future. Please remember to vote by February 10th.